Hi, I'm Scott Robbins, head coach and director of Eagles Junior Golf Development here at the Tribute Golf Club. We're here today to talk about some practice strategies that will help get your game in better shape. Let's talk about full swing, since everybody likes to do their full swing practice first. Here at Eagles Junior Golf, we don't let our players take and just dump a pile of golf balls out. They have to come and get five, ten golf balls at a time, and we make them focus on their fundamentals. Unless you have those static elements, you're not going to be able to make your best golf swing. The driver should be the last club you should hit, and the driver should be the least club you should hit. Always use alignment rods when you're doing full swing, making sure that you can see as you're executing your swing that you're sending the golf ball where you're aiming. So let's talk about the parts of your short game you need to practice. Probably from off the green, the most important shot you need to practice is that shot that's five to 10 yards off the edge of the green, your basic chip shot. Your goal should be to get nine out of 10 shots that you hit up and down from this distance when you're on the golf course. So when you're practicing, hit a bunch of these chip shots, and when you feel like you've got it down, bring your golf balls back, get yourself down to 10 balls, and see if you can get nine out of 10 up and down from this spot just off the edge of the green. If you can, and you do, your game will improve. So the next thing we want to talk about is your greenside bunker shots. So we're talking about also varying not only the sh just one basic shot, but when you're in a bunker, hit different length shots, hit different trajectories, hit different clubs to figure out what club's best for what situation. Use your practice wisely so you know that you're rehearsing what you're going to see on a golf course so that you never have any surprises when you get on the course. So your putting practice should be on a couple different things. Short putts obviously are very important. Long putts are important also. But the key is three putts come mostly from bad distance on your first lag putt. I use divot repair tools for my semicircle and want to be able to make all the putts around my semicircle, which is a putter length away from the hole. If I can make sure I'm making those putts, then I'm confident that once I get back and start hitting my lag putts and my longer putts, get that inside the circle, then it's going to make it easy to two putt. So there you have it. In my full swing, I'm working on just the clubs that I'm going to be using most of the time, very few drivers, most of my wedges, my mid irons, and I'm working only there on my direction. I come over to the short game, I'm putting, I'm chipping, I'm pitching, and I'm hitting sand plays. Those four shots, I'm trying to control my distance and my, my direction, as well as my trajectory to hit these shots. So when you're out practicing, make sure you're paying attention to each one of these elements. There's a great amount of people out there, they're great ball strikers that don't have a good short game and they don't score that well. There's a lot of people out there that have a mediocre long game and great short games and they're the ones that get out there and are winning. So here's your pace of play tip of the month. It's hard to remember and hard to know when you're out there playing if you've been on, the, on a hole for 10, 15, 16, 20 minutes. The easiest way to remember to do that is just make sure you have that group ahead of you always in sight. What I mean by that is that they're never more than one shot ahead of you. And if you find your group in a gap situation, just make sure you're setting the pace in your group and playing ready golf, and getting to your shot and executing as soon as you can. 